Hey everybody. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, Constantine. I, uh, I'm the founder of Blockdaemon. Uh, if you haven't heard of us, uh, you know our tagline is "We know nodes." We're a professional uh, node provider. We run over a thousand full nodes across 20 protocols. Um, we operate. Uh, we have 100 data centers pre-configured. We run our own data center, and um, we're also uh, now building a marketplace where people can submit scripts to actually deploy nodes on their systems. And uh, we have all the sort of SLA performance monitoring, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we have some, the reason why I, I mentioned backers here and some of our customers is uh, kind of, you know, what uh, uh, was said downstairs earlier is that, we, you know, we're huge fans of the Lightning Network. And we believe that for the Lightning Network to really function over time, it needs professional adoption, right? And so uh, we believe that it's uh, important that exchanges and, uh, you know, enterprises or companies who actually accept payments have uh, the right uh, tooling in place to actually participate in the Lightning Network. And that's why we're excited by it. And, um, and we're, uh, we're actually offering, uh, we run our own hub and we also offer actually full Bitcoin nodes for professional uh, companies and have integrations uh, that I want to show you guys. Um, so uh, we, um, we have a very simple uh, UI and I'm going to walk you through that uh, uh, in real time. Uh, where you can purchase a dedicated Bitcoin node. So our nodes come uh, with, uh, uh, you know, they have all the data, all the transaction data can be transmitted. You have load balancing. The node has a backup system. So the, the channel and the node uh, with it is always live. Uh, we currently, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a, frankly, at this stage, you know, it's nice to have as a product. It still lacks a lot of functionality for it to be, really, really uh, relevant, specifically around um, making sure that we also can never access uh, the physical node, right? And so uh, very often when we work with uh, companies, um, they, you know, they trust us to uh, run their infrastructure and we have legal agreements to do that. Uh, but often now we actually have to go on-prem and we use software to actually deploy nodes that we physically can't touch except for monitoring and alerting them. And so and that's something that we're working on here. Um, we use run the lightning dashboard, and so I'm going to show you how to very simply, you know, walk through that. Uh, and then we have a couple of um, uh, other features where, you know, you can select the geography of the node, the cloud provider of the node, uh, you have API access, and there's no limit to kind of what you end up uh, doing on that node. Uh, we do have a hub up. Um, we're trying to, you know, play it slow a little bit and kind of just establishing ourselves by, you know, Kind of building a reputation as a reliable hub uh, with uh, you know a decent amount of peer connections, and uh, you know we're slowly going to increase the liquidity that we're going to put into the channel over time. Um, liquidity is another really big, big uh, subject, obviously and specifically for professional adoption, right? Like you couldn't have a scenario where suddenly uh, some professional users that need to make a transaction end up in a network where there's no liquidity, for example. And so managing for that will uh, take quite a bit of time. Um, and then, so when I, you know, the stuff that's coming that we're currently working on is um, actually a user interface that has actually all the data that you need for node health. And so a lot of the folks we normally sell nodes to are professionals that, uh, you know, it's a sort of, there's a sort of technical person in a company and, uh, you know, if they're involved in blockchain, they end up having to run mostly, you know, quite a few different infrastructure components. And so all they really want to see is I just want to see the sort of high level health uh, of the respective network. And then I want, uh, you know, as much flexibility around configuration. Um, and so, for example, for us, like currently what we're adding is a BTC pay server as an optional, you know, add-on that you can just integrate into the node and a couple of other uh, bits and pieces. And so, and then we have a marketplace functionality on our website where, uh, you know, you can actually connect a bunch of other stuff from, you know, wallets to block explorers, et cetera, et cetera, that third parties provide, um, which is what we currently do uh, for um, a living. And so... Let's, uh, so I wanted to go and actually physically show you guys that. So how does that look? Um, so so this, is, uh, this is our website. Let me know if you guys can see it. Um, there's a bunch of stuff on there. You can, we have a node marketplace where you know, uh, folks can purchase nodes. We have support 20 protocols out of the box. Uh, the, 
larger public chains that we support uh, customers there are wallet and exchanges mostly as well as financial institutions and you know there's a whole kind of setup around those that uh, goes into play but one of them is uh, bitcoin lightning so let's go here we have these protocol home pages uh, there's information around um, uh, you know what the what the physical node does um, and then let's uh, set up a connection so we got Bitcoin Lightning. You just pick one here. You pick Mainnet. We want a. We don't want a full Bitcoin. We want a Bitcoin plus Lightning node. Uh, we have a couple of data centers pre-configured. So you see, like, there's a couple of options on the Google stuff. There's a couple of options on the Amazon side. Um, we also have an option, and and that's what the package manager is that I'm really talking about here, which is that you can actually just download a script and take it onto your Amazon account, Google account, any, any server that runs on a, a Linux OS. And so that deploys a node, connects to our backend for a second, we configure and sync, set it up, and then we disconnect from the node. Um, so you pick a, a, let's do Asia Pacific, continue to check out, you know, we have a Stripe integration. Um, and I'm just, uh, I don't want to buy one because I always get kicked out of Stripe when I do that. Um, but this is then how, uh, you know, my node marketplace looks. So you can see this is how a Bitcoin, I have a Bitcoin core lightning network running. Uh, this is our dashboard. This is a live node that I set up earlier. Um, you can see it's on Amazon. I'm the owner. Um, there's a bunch of knowledge base articles that dynamically come and float around based on the activity that you have in the app. So a lot of users that set this up really have no experience to, uh, you know, that's actually specific to the Lightning Network. And so we try to get, hit them up with um, all the relevant uh, information that they need. Um, you have connecting, simple connection settings. So, you know, you have your RTL dashboard, passwords, um, secrets. So we can, uh, you know, just click this button here. Uh, you know, come up with a password. Let's see if that works. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, actually, you know what? See, I'm doing something a little silly here. Um, we can actually, I actually have to use this password, obviously. And then, um, and then you're set up. You can set up your wallet. You give it a password. You unlock the wallet. Oh. Let's do the initialization then. Here we go. We're assuming I don't have a wallet yet. Anyway, passwords don't match. Um, let me try and do this again. And then from here, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with the um, RTL dashboard. Uh, you can do anything else that you might need. And so you can connect and start to connect to peers. Um, sorry, guys. So let's do this. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's do a passphrase. And so you see the, the, the way this works, right? And so, and that's it. Um, and then you're, you, you know, you're ready to set up. You can check out peers. You can connect to folks. And, uh, you know, you can always come back here. Uh, there's a bunch of different, uh, you know, how to create a channel. There's a bunch of knowledge based stuff connected in here that actually walks you in detail through it. And so, so that's kind of what I wanted to share today. So, you know, I'm, I'm always a little conflicted with uh, this type of stuff because we spend a lot of time thinking about how, how do we not become an agent of centralization either? And so how do we actually uh, give people uh, the degree of control where we never have access and visibility to any of this stuff, right? And so um, it's definitely a progression, but the package managing system that we have um, is for us actually the next step into how we run nodes for people, where we actually, by definition, have no access to the infrastructure, the nodes write on, right? And so um, the, um, the system, uh, the package manager is open source, um, and so we've started to build them for Polkadot, for some of the newer projects that are coming out, and Lightning is next. Um, and so people can actually physically just download simple scripts, set it up on any 
uh, NEOS as stated, and then actually have us purely monitor the node um, and we give you alerts and all the other bits and pieces that you need in case something happens with your node, right? Uh, we have a, an upsell for enterprises where we actually manage the load balance, uh, the history, et cetera, et cetera, for these enterprises. Enterprises are kind of okay with uh, having other people um, uh, you know, access to the nodes, again, we, we can't touch the keys, but uh, th they're very comfortable in signing a legal document saying, hey, you know, kind of whatever the confidentiality and warranties and all that type of stuff is, like everyone else who, uh, thank you, uh, actually, um, you know, runs stuff on an Amazon cloud. Um, yeah, and so that's us. Uh, if you, um, you know, if, uh, don't forget, uh, we've got a hub up. Uh, if you guys have uh, feedback, content, anything we can help um, to facilitate uh, deployment of these nodes, let us know. And uh, yeah, I think we have a minute for questions, if there is one. All right, that's me. Thank you so much. Bye.